Hey guys, it's Mr. Bullock, and this uh, geometry lesson is on areas of parallelograms, triangles, trapezoids, and kites. So we're probably getting towards the end of the school year. This is, uh, then you got volumes after this chapter, so a uh, typical geometry book. Okay, um, uh, and then, so here's some formulas for the areas of uh, uh, the triangles, the squares, and all that stuff, so parallelograms. So, okay, so areas, all area answers end in square units, okay? So if it's like in inches, then it's inches squared. You see the word area, then it has to end in square units. So meters, meters squared, centimeters squared. So a square, here's the first formula. A square that has side x, the area is x squared. So here's a quick example. This 5 by 5 square, notice it ends in centimeters, so 5 squared is 25, the, end, the answer is 25 centimeters squared. This is square units, always ends in square units. Okay, you see that word area, your answer always ends in square units, so in this case centimeters squared. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, where B is the base and H is the, it's, is the I'm sorry, where H is the altitude that goes to the base. Okay, so here's a quick example. Here I have uh, this base is 10 and the altitude going to the base is 4.8 where the right angle is, that's the altitude. So I'm going to multiply uh, 4 times 8 and take half of that, 1 half base times height. So you should get 24 inches squared. Okay, now a lot of people think that this bottom piece always has to be the base. It doesn't have to be. Watch, here's the same triangle, you guys, where I took out that altitude. Now here's the altitude. Wherever the right angle is, that's your base and altitude. So 6 could be the base and 8 could be the altitude, or 8 could be the base and 6 could be the altitude. In any case, you still do 1 half uh, 6 times 8, which is still 24 inches squared. It's the same triangle, so it's going to have the same area as the, uh, before. Okay, notice it's in uh, inches squared because it's square units. Area of a rectangle is base times height or length times width, depending on which textbook you're using. So a quick example, 14 times 3 is 42 uh, meters squared. Always in square units, you guys. Okay, the area of a parallelogram is just like a rectangle, base times height. You just need a height in there. Okay, so if you're going to say 6 is the base here, and the height is where the right angle is, where it touches that 6, which is right here. So here's the height out here. So it's just 6 times 8, or 48. Okay, or you can see there's a right angle right there. So you could have done 12 times 4. 6 times 8 is the same as 12 times 4. So you get 48. Notice there's no units on it, so we have to write square units. Okay, so 48 square units, whether you did 6 times 8 or 12 times 4. Okay, uh, the area of a trapezoid is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. Base 1 and base 2 are the bases. That's the parallel side, you guys, of a trapezoid. And h is the altitude that goes between the bases. Here's an example. Okay, here's the parallel side. So there's base 1 and base 2. Or you can make 8 base 1 and base 2. It doesn't matter. And then so you're going to go 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. Go ahead and add 15 plus 9 first and get 23. And then 23 times 9, then 1 half of that is 103, and this is in meters squared. Don't forget your meters squared. The area of a kite and a rhombus is half the product of the diagonals. Diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Okay, half the product of the diagonal. So here we go. Uh, I got this. This is a rhombus because all four sides are equal. Here's one diagonal. Here's another diagonal. So I'm going to go 1 half 40 times 32. On this kite, this is a kite because two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. Uh, so I'm gonna, And then here's the diagonal here, 41, and here's the diagonal here, 67. So this one's going to be 1 half 41 times 67. Don't forget to end your units in square units. So there we go, 1 half 40 times 32 and 1 half uh, 41 times 67. And uh, this took one I get 640 inches squared and this one I get 103 point five centimeters squared.